Hi everyone, uh, uh, this is the first in a series of uh, YouTube videos where I'm going to be going through um, some quick little scratch projects. Um, so the idea is that they're a follow-on guide, so you can start at the beginning, follow it through, stop, pause, rewind, uh, fast forward, however you like, uh, and work your way through each individual project. So in this first one, uh, I'm going to be doing a little uh, bat game. Okay, so it's a uh, starts off as a quick little animation, but then we're going to add some game elements to it as well. Um, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, I'm going to delete the cat. I always tend to delete the cat. Uh, so let's get rid. And then I'm going to do two things. I'm going to add the bat sprite. So I'm going to click on there. There's the bat there. You can see it's got lots and lots of different costumes. That will come in handy later on. So let's click on that. And then we're going to add a backdrop to it. Now I want our bat to be in the woods. Uh, look at that perfect background for our bat. Now the first thing I've noticed is that I think the bat's probably a little bit too big. So if I click on size here, I'm going to change it to 70. Uh, hit enter. There we go. It's a much nicer size. All right. Uh, so there's sort of three elements to it. The first element we're going to make our bat move. We're going to make it fly around the screen a little bit. So to do that, let's start with events. Let's start with uh, when I click go, just let me zoom in a little bit, there we go. Uh, right, so we want the the uh, bat to be moving now. So let's drag a forever loop in. Let's go to motion. We're going to drag in three things from here. We're going to drag in a move, a turn, and an if on edge bounce. Oh, actually, we're just going to drag in one more. It's this one here called set rotation style. I'm going to squeeze that in there. So what that one does is it stops it from twisting around. And so when it rotates, it just rotates from left to right like that. Um, it just kind of looks a bit silly if it goes upside down. Uh, so let's talk through these. So it's going to move. Uh, the 10 is sort of our speed, really, in what we're doing. So I'm just going to slow it down. I'm going to change it to 5. And I'm going to change my turn to 3. So it's going to move. It's going to turn. But if it touches the edge, it's going to bounce. It should do that forever. So if I press go, it should start to fly around. Okay, it looks great. Um, but one thing it's missing is it's not flapping its wings. Okay, so let's press stop because that's going to get distracting uh, and let's add some flapping wings. Um, so let me just move this out of the way. And now I could uh, just add it on in there, but I'm going to do it as a separate one. So let me go to here. I like to do it separately just so I can keep track of what I'm doing. Um, so what do I need? I need a forever loop. And what we want to do is we want it to change costumes. Do you remember when I said that we had lots and lots of costumes? Well, we're going to use the first two. And if you notice, when I change between the first two costumes, it looks just like it's flapping its wings. So if I go back to code, go to looks, we've got costume in there. Switch to costume. I'm going to put it as A. And then I'm going to get a weight. And then what we want to do is we want to do it again. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to duplicate. So if I duplicate, I get the same blocks again. But I'm going to change this one to B. So if we look on here now, it's changing from A to B. From A to B. But the it's it's really slow. The the timer in it is, isn't fast enough. So let's change this to a much smaller number. Let's change it to 0.2. 0.2 of a second. And there we go. Look at that. It's flapping its wings. And if we press go now... It'll flap its wings and move around. That looks great. Now, if we wanted to just make an animation, that would be fine. I mean, that's a really nice little animation to make where the bat's trapped in the screen. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to add to it and we're going to make it into a quick little game. Okay. Let me just pause him. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to label these so that I don't forget what they do. So if I right click, add comment. So this set of blocks was the blocks for my movements okay press that and i'm just going to drag it and move it up there so i know now that those blocks are for that this one right click add comment these ones were for the flapping wings that's just gone off the screen there we go move that up there as well so now they're both annotated okay that just makes it a little bit easier if I'm trying to follow and understand what code I've done. So let's have a go. Let's have a go at making it into a game. 
So the first thing we're going to have is we're going to need to add a variable. That's where the game stores some information, but that information can be changed. And that's exactly what we want. We want a score that can be changed by going up and down. So I'm going to go to variables. I'm going to make a variable. Call it score. Press OK. And now I've got these extra buttons in here. I've got a button called score. You can see it displayed up there. And we're ready to go. So let's do when I click on this sprite. Let me zoom back in again. When I click on the sprite, so when I click the bat, so the idea of the game is that you're going to click the bat and you get your score goes up. If you miss the bat, your score goes down. Uh, so when I click on the sprite, what I want is for the score to go up. So uh, variables, I'm going to do change my score, change my score by, by one, by positive one. So it's going to go up. So my score, when I click the bat, should change by one every time perfect however when i press go when i press go to start again you'll see that my score is already on six my score is not resetting so what i'm going to do is on this one up here i'm going to sneak in a set my score to zero so that every time we start the game the score gets reset to zero let me press it again reset to zero Okay, perfect. Now what we've got here is we've got the change in the score, but let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's change the costume again. So if we go to costume, uh, looks, go to switch costume, costume C. Let me show you costume C. Costume C looks like that. I think that looks perfect for if we're clicking on the bat. Okay, so it's going to change to costume C when I click on it. Let's press it. You see it just flash for a second to that costume. I think it looks perfect for what we're trying to do. Now, the other thing that we could do is we could add a sound effect to that. Now, luckily, the bat already has an owl sound preloaded, but we can change it and we can edit it to sound more bat-like. So let's listen to it now. Little owl noise. So what we're going to do is we're going to use some of the tools on Scratch to change and distort the sound so that it's something that we might recognize as a bat noise. So if I'm, first of all, I'm gonna reverse it. Already that sounds slightly different. And then what we can do is we can try and play around by maybe making it faster or slower. So let's try that. And every time I press speed up, it should change ever so slightly. I think that sounds perfect. So now if we go back to our code, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on sound, I'm going to start sound, owl, press go. Now every time I press it, it should make that sound perfect. So let's think about what we've got so far. We've got the bat moving, we've got the bat flapping its wings, we've got it adding to our score when we click it, we've got it making a sound. The only thing we need to do now is we need to make it so that we lose a point if we miss the bat. Now the way we're going to do that is we're going to use the backdrop. So the idea is that if I miss the the bat, if I miss the sprite, I must be clicking the backdrop. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on stage here and oh no, my code's disappeared. Don't panic, it's on the bat. So don't panic about losing it because it's on the bat. So if I just go to here, I'm now adding code to the stage. So what we're gonna say is that when the stage is clicked, so when I click the stage, I want the score to go down. So I'm gonna go and change my variable, change my score to minus one, to negative one. Now it must be when I'm clicking the stage that I need to lose because otherwise I'd be hitting the bat. So let's have a test. So let's try and hit the bat. Excellent, my score's going up. Let's miss on purpose. Excellent, our score's going down. Okay, let's go back to the bat. I'm really happy with that. I'm just going to label that one actually. So I'm going to add a comment and I'm going to say add a scoring system. Uh, hide that, move that there. So that there is the code that you need for the bat plus those extra two little ones for the for the backdrop but you should be able to remember those it was only two blocks um but yeah that's everything you need uh, so i'm happy now i've finished with my game so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the project page and i'm going to share what i've made
So I'm gonna give it a title. Uh, let's call it a uh, catch the bat. Okay, and then what we'll do is we'll give some instructions. So using your mouse, you need to try and click on the bat. When you do your score goes up. So we're telling people what to do, what will happen. But we need to say what happened if we if we lose as well. So uh, if you miss your score will go down. Let's add some words of encouragement as well to finish off with. So try your best. Share your top score in the comments below. Perfect. All finished. So I've done my title, I've done my instructions. All that's left for me to do now is to share my work. And now that's live with the world. Anybody can have a go at playing your game. Uh, so yeah, um, that's it. Maybe have a go at building yourself. Uh, hopefully there'll be some more videos up soon. So yeah, enjoy, have a go. Hope you, uh, hope you manage to follow along. Cheers.